everyone. I'm Nate. I'm Sarah. And today we're going to talk about our ancestry. Yeah. We both have very different experiences with our ancestry or knowledge of our ancestry, like going into it. So I think it's like interesting to do it together. Yeah. We both already know what ours is, so you guys are the only ones who don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've said mine to one person in a comment so they know. I don't know oh. if anyone else read that comment, but... <laughs> Okay, so I figured we should start off by talking a little bit about what we knew about our ancestry before doing DNA testing. Nothing. <laughs> I'm adopted. I was so like, I mean, your skin tone kind of gives I off. knew that I was African. Yeah. But other At than that, part. nothing. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. Um, and I knew a good, see, I had a very opposite or a very different um, knowledge of my ancestry going into it because I know almost on both sides, like, when my family came here like mm -hmm. definitely generations back but like I still have family in other countries yeah but it was mainly like one half of my family that I didn't know the ancestry of mm -hmm. and then one half that I know like very detailed yeah before getting tested so it was very interesting to find out like what was the truth especially because people even knowing my results like I still like I see the results and I can understand like the like why I look the way I look, mm -hmm. but uh, people have always been really confused as to what my ancestry is, because people can never guess based on my appearance. Mm -hmm. I don't have like a, a super, like a lot of information right now. I did mine like a long time ago, and it's on my mom's like ancestry.com account, because she's like super into that. So maybe one day I'll come back with like a little bit more information, but I remember what I am and everything, mm -hmm. but I don't. She just found, like, looking like some things were, like, more specific, and I don't really know if they are on mine. And I don't know if it, like, has updated ever. So, maybe, like, one day I'll take a look at that. Well, I think it's interesting because it kind of shows the difference between a white person getting their DNA tested and an African-American person getting their DNA tested. Where it's, like, there aren't generations of my family whose, like, ancestry is just, or not ancestry, but, like, is just missing mm -hmm. from history like historical documents whereas yours is yeah um so kind of, i think it shows like the impact of human slave trade on current generations like even with dna testing the amount of like that's still unknown because of that mm -hmm. oh i guess i should say oh uh i knew the like three um like prongs if you will of my ancestry I knew that or I assumed from my family's information that they've told me was that I was half Norwegian um, a quarter Spanish and a quarter Italian mm. that's what my like assumption was going into it uh, number two <laughs> we're going to talk about the results from yeah. our uh, DNA tests mm -hmm. uh, so I found out that I'm like 65% Nigerian mm -hmm. and then like 30, like, 4 or 33 point something percent gone in. And then there was, like, a little, like, un... You can't specifically place it, like, less than 1% of, like, Eastern European and, like, possibly, like, some, like, Pacific Island, but, like, l like too little to even, like... Pinpoint. Pinpoint or... I mean, it could literally be anything. Or nothing, because... <laughs> Yeah, or way. nothing at all. And then for those of you know, who know, like, I'm adopted, mm -hmm. but I have a little sister uh, who is my half-sister. And ours was really interesting because it was the exact opposite. So I was 65% Nigerian <laughs> and basically 35% Ghanan, and she was 65% Ghanan and, like, 35% Nigerian. That is interesting. Yeah. We have different dads. But yeah, we ended up having like the perfect flip flop of like those two places in Africa. So my sister is, um, we have the same mom and dad, so maybe we should get tested and be able to see the um, margin of error in the DNA testing. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be really smart actually. Mm -hmm. But okay, you? so mine is definitely way more specific because I literally have like the printout right now. Mm -hmm. I'll get my printout. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll come for like a little two minute yeah. special and I'll just talk about uh, yeah. what's on mine if anyone's even interested. Okay, so the main thing I was, that at first I was very surprised by, was 30% uh, from uh, England and Northwestern European. Mm -hmm. 
But then I realized that that includes the Netherlands and um, Belgium and some other parts of like more like mainland Europe right there, which mm -hmm. makes more sense. Because I don't, I've never heard of any of my ancestors being from uh, the UK. Yeah. So I was like, huh? Like all, most of my ancestors that I know from, or that I've heard about from Europe have not been from that area. Mm. Um, but then I realized that it was like, it could just been like the Netherlands and things like that, which makes sense because mm -hmm. the next one is 17%. Norwegian <laughs> and it like breaks down specifically like to the areas of um, that I still know I have family there mm. like the house that we live in now is was built from my great-grandparents who came from that area yeah like we know to the to the exact island and Bergen <laughs> um, and then the next part was 9% French mm. But, like I said, it's like, because it's all, a lot of it's next to each other, so, like, yeah. I wasn't that surprised that it wasn't just, like, cut and dry. Because yeah. then the next one was 9% Irish. Mm. What? And 7% um, Spanish. Oh, is this Spanish? 7% Portuguese. A little more Spanish-ish. 6% Swedish. That was a surprise, because there's always some weird rivalry between... Rival well, rivalry between yeah. Sweden and Norway? Yeah, whenever, at least I should say here in America, yeah. because it's like... I always remember, like, that was the feeling that you got when we went to, like, Scandinavian festivals and stuff. It was like, here's all the Norwegians, and here's, here's the all the Swedish people, we're in different outfits, different colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not anymore, now I'm just like, woo, Scandinavian people! <laughs> uh, then 5% indigenous uh, Americas and Mexico, which I, it's hard to say because I'm pretty sure that those ancestors are, f I think that that might be a mix up of DNA from, uh, I know I have ancestors that were Spanish that came to like Mexico and New Mexico mm -hmm. and Southern Colorado. So I don't, I am hesitant to say that they're, I have actual in indigenous ancestry. Yeah. Like I just have, Spanish ancestry that goes back far that to that to area. Be in that area. Yeah. yeah. Which I mean, it's like if you're there, there's definitely a chance that there was relations. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, and then 5% Germanic Europe, 4% Scottish, and 1% Indigenous Americas. But as we said, it's like when you get to the, like, the little percentages. Yeah. Accuracy. That's funny. You don't have any like that. I have some that literally aren't a sing like one percent. Like they're, they're it's like point like... seven percent Pacific <laughs> Island. They're like point five percent Eastern European, and yeah. They might have taken those out like in the, the newer tests, knowing that like if a percentage is that small. Yeah. But like, I might just do it again. It's not there. But it's like a hundred dollars, so. Yeah, maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll do it again. <laughs> I, it's funny because the only thing that isn't on here, I guess, was Italian. Yeah, you're not Italian, apparently. Yeah. French. Which mm -hmm. honestly makes more sense. More sense. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, I was going to say we should mention have we been to any of these places. We have never been to Africa, but we really want to go. We've been to like most of the places on hers. Yeah. We've been Sorry, to, like, really we've been to Scotland. <laughs> we've been to Spain. We've been to France. We've been to Ireland. Mm -hmm. We haven't we've been, been to, to the North America. Yeah, no, we haven't been to the big ones yet. We've been yeah. to England, but we don't know if mine's actually from there. Because um, the big ones for her are like Norway yeah. and... Uh, I guess, yeah, like Norway. Norway and Northwestern Europe. But it's... Those are the ones that I've been wanting to wait because my... Because we have family there, I want to go with my family that is in America still so mm -hmm. we can go and like experience it together. And I know my mom and my sister want to go as well and my grandma too. Um, my grandma is the only one out of us that has been. I want to go so bad. It's really funny. Most of the people that I have met that are black that know what part of Africa they're from, like that I like am close with, are also Nigerian. Like one of my old managers at a restaurant I worked at, um, he was like, oh yeah, I'm from Nigeria. My parents still live there. And he's like, if you ever go there, you can like stay at their house. Like... <laughs> I have like two people that have been like, you can stay at my parents' house in Nigeria if you ever go there. <laughs> it's like they're like the nicest people ever and they would love to have you there and teach you about Nigeria. I don't know why I'm always so hesitant to take up offers like that when people offer like to stay with them or their family mm -hmm. when you're traveling in the future. 
It's, I, it's not that I wouldn't, it's not that I'm like, I don't want to stay with them, but it's more like, I don't want to impose, even yeah, when they offer. Yeah. Oh, well, we were going to say the places that we have been. Oh, yeah. There's, like, when we went to Spain, that was the first time I had been somewhere and been like, I have ancestry that traces this area, and I feel like I actually look like a lot of people that are she around does. us. Me and my sister look a lot alike, and uh, when growing up, we, like, would, Norwegian heritage was really the only heritage that we really, like, learned much about, but that's just because those are the family that we spent the most time with, that yeah. were like close with their heritage. Um, but when we would go to a, events and stuff, I felt like we didn't really look like most yeah. of the people there. Yeah. <laughs> so it was nice to be like, wow, I actually do look like <laughs> my ancestors a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. As soon as we got there, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be, like when I do get my DNA tested, I'm definitely Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that the last thing we wanted to talk about was kind of connecting with those cultures and if we would want to go to visit those places. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, this past year has not been a year for traveling. Yeah, not but, at all. But at some point. Yeah. I but these are also like, like big trips that yeah, like yeah. we definitely will do more planning of than like our normal like uh, September spontaneous. trip. Yeah. 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 Chris, typically when we travel, we're pretty spontaneous because we usually go in off season and we usually go spontaneously depending on like off this list of places we're interested in. Like, are there any places that would be like most affordable? Are there some weird random people that we could get like a cheap flight? Like when we went to Paris for $400 mm -hmm. round trip, like we were like, okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah. And we did not plan that like far in advance. The ones that, like, I think the two biggest ones would be, like, going to Scandinavia in general and going to Africa in general. But those are the ones that are, like, you really want to plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot. Especially because I'm, like, the flights to Africa are so expensive, like, no matter where you're landing, I mm -hmm. swear. So I feel like when we do go, I'd like to go to multiple countries. Yeah. Even if that means we're there for, like, as long as we can be. Yeah. I'd be down with that. Yeah. There's so much to see. I would hate to only be in one place for, like, two days or three days. True. So please, scientists, make it safe. Yeah. <laughs> we want to travel again. Travel. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that is all we have for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and button. Tell us about your ancestry. Not just like what you are, but like maybe what your connection was to your ancestry. Like how much did you know? How much yeah. do you know? Like are you able to find out more? Or let us know in the comments. Yeah. It's an interesting, interesting struggle. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.